Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy Harvest Moon. In the last episode, we took down the Greater Daemon after getting a sword from a goblin, a sleeping bag from... Honestly, a goblin. And just, you know, becoming way overpowered by killing goblins. We are now Goblin Slayer. In this episode, we're going to be heading back into Carmite Cave to water our crops because our crops on our farm are currently done. We have multiple rune factories going. I will not be picking any of these turnips, uh, radishes in here because honestly, having infinite rune points forever is kind of fantastic. And I do actually have a plan for today. Besides obviously picking up our hammer from the uh, blacksmith, we are going to show how overpowered we are by killing this thing with three uses of our watering can. We are going to use our sword a couple times right here. And that's close enough. I don't care about the two rune points. I'm just going to grab one of these and then head out. So we have a little bit of time to kill. So I'm going to waste a little bit of my rune points to get a skill up. Good enough. Grab that. And let's head up. Hey, Leo! Hammer plonks. I made a new product. I'm proud of this one, I. Okay, here's what you wanted. You got an iron hammer. Come again anytime you want a tool forged. Okay, so as he said, he actually made some new products. So if you open this up after beating Carmite Cave, this is his current inventory. This is the longsword. It is exactly what we have except the level 1. If we were to sell our longsword, it would be sold for $29.80. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> uh, you can get the wind sword, has one more attack, and it uses wind attack. Wind attack is an elemental damage, and... Uh, it is... It's hard to recommend to use. Um, in later games, it's easier to tell what is weak against what. In this one... I don't typically recommend using any element unless it's really obvious, like fire is weak to water, so you want to use a water element against a fire enemy. So if you're going to a fire dungeon, yeah, grab a water sword or something, but by the time you have access to water swords, you've already cleared the fire dungeon. So, eh, this game's pacing is a bit fast, so typically just shy away from the elemental, go for the strongest damage. Yeah. You can get all these different kinds of weapons. Sadly, no new kinds of shields or anything, but that's what I recommend showing. Raguna, were you alright? I heard you fought a greater daemon in that cave. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Greater daemon are rarely seen in my country. What are you doing in that kind of place? I think you need to search the earth more. There's always good poetry to be found in war. Well, in love and war. There were greater daemons there, I... Uh, there shouldn't be any around here. That's kind of fishy, humph. I heard all about it, Raguna. Did you really defeat a giant monster? You're amazing. Now I know who to call on if I'm ever attacked by a monster. I feel happy just looking at the accessories. I love going to the store, even if I'm just window shopping. Hey, I heard you defeated a greater daemon in Carmite Cave. I never knew you had it in you. Incredible. You fought a greater daemon in the back of Carmite Cave? Please, give a little more thought to your safety before doing something like that. Oh, -ho, you fought a savage beast inside that cave. Very impressive. No thanks to your potions. I heard there was a greater daemon there. Strange, that monster was never seen in Carmite Cave before. Good morning. Um, some kind of magic book called Fireball or something came in. I'm so glad that you're okay, Mr. Aguna. I was really worried. I'm so relieved. Fireball, hmm? Has the magic book been delivered? Fireball for 3200, medication for 3000. Uh, Fireball is a spell that just creates a fireball in front of you. Medication is a spell that heals, I believe, 80 HP and all status ailments except for seal, as you cannot cast magic, aka medication, while sealed. We don't have enough money for now, but I think within the next week we should be able to afford medication. Medication is what I recommend for everyone to pick up. Fireball, if you really want to do magic, there are some ways to get your intelligence high enough to, you know, make Fireball worth it, but for now, I wouldn't recommend that until you have your intelligence higher. Has something bad happened? So, you've come to buy something. A greater daemon. Befriend it and you should be able to get something great. 
yeah, um, it should be noted that the first time I played this game, I assumed he was talking actually seriously about befriending a greater daemon. I thought that was so cool and that I'd be able to befriend one at some point. You cannot befriend any bosses in this game. Later titles allow you to befriend the bosses and it is a really cool feature that I'm not sure which game it first pops up in. It might be three, it might be four, but it definitely does not happen here and that saddens me. Greater Demon, that's strange. Powerful monsters like that shouldn't be lurking in that cave. Yeah, you know what else shouldn't be? This warrior certificate. Here, you take it off my hands. A warrior certificate? Thanks, I love these. He will be my friend. Good morning. I don't know that much about fighting, but if you manage to save the soul of a greater demon, I say that's good. good morning. I wonder what greater demon tastes like. <laughs> Just kidding. Is it true that you defeated Greater Damon? I just can't believe you. I mean, you're not exactly made of muscle, are you? To be fair, she has a point. I look scrawny as heck and should not be able to fight the way I do. Luckily, I'm magic! Oh, very impressive. You've changed my opinion of you. So I'm not gonna bother waiting until I would have access to the other voice lines. Instead, I'm just gonna go up and talk to Godwin. We're gonna miss out on other people's impressions of the Greater Daemon, but if we go up, go up here... Good morning! Is it true that a Greater Daemon was in Carmite Cave? I'm sure there wasn't one that big in that cave, it's a bit of a worry. Well, besides that, Raguna, you've plowed Carmite Cave enough for me to issue a pass to Tauros Cave. Okay, here's the pass. Take care, entering the cave. You received the pass for Tauros Cave. So we have access to the second dungeon now, so starting tomorrow I'll start talking to people about it and figure out what people think. For now though, let's just head down to Taurus Cave and start showing it off. In here we should get the resources necessary to start upgrading our axe, but let's see. Raguna! Mist, what are you doing here? Well, you know what they say, two birds of a feather gotta flock together. I see. Anyway, Raguna, did you know that seasons don't change inside caves? Yes, I actually did know that. You knew that? I figured you for a sharp one, Raguna. I, looks like I was right. Good luck growing those crops. That's good to hear. Okay, I'd better get back home. See you later. And wait a second. There we go. Oh, I almost forgot. Rumor has it if you grow crops for more than 30 days, you can produce phantom vegetables. The biggest lie Mist has ever told. <laughs> this is actually a translation issue. This is purely her saying, oh hey, yeah, this is a thing that we don't exactly know, but you know, whatever. Uh, how to properly put it. Phantom vegetables are a few vegetables that are not available until the post game, technically. Uh, you can get them as monster drops starting in this cave, and as we see the monsters, I'll explain how the drops work. But for now, it's just, you know, a monster drop. You know how that works. Uh, phantom vegetables take more than a full season to grow, can only be grown in caves because of that, and they are fantastic items that some people love and sell for a very good amount of money. Some of them, I believe, take up to a full year, or maybe even five seasons to grow. But for now, we're not going to be covering those. It's just, you know, they're specific things. They're not any, they're not like, oh, a phantom radish or something. They're just... There are things like emery flowers and things like that. Things you won't find normally. So yeah, Mist is a freaking liar. Really? I'd love to see what those look like. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know. Okay, see you. So if we head up here, this is the cave we're dealing with. We're actually going to be setting up a rune factory here because it is so close to our house. So I have to start by clearing the cave here. I... Uh, I'm only going to be chopping these to begin with, then going to get some uh, resources to then, you know, give up my axe. Boom. Boom. Okay, um... These enemies right over here. Be very careful of them, they can inflict paralysis. Okay, good. They can also drop a spear, a level 2 spear, which will be sold for the same amount that they're purchased for, I believe. What? And he inflicted me with paralysis, because somehow he wasn't within my arc, even though it looked like it was. Uh, paralysis just makes us you can't run. So it slows you down, yes, but not to the point where it matters. I just got silver again. Cool. And what level silver did I get? Level 1? Okay, that's fine. 
So we're going to use the axe in here real quick. Get some use out of it before we have to give it up. Skill up. Nice. It's actually very important to get our skill up while it's still a low level axe. Okay. So before we head out, let's go mining. Okay, it's to the left. I don't know why you keep going right with it. So we're going to be breaking all these. Iron, which is exactly what we need. And now that our hammer is upgraded... Ooh, we actually got a gemstone. We can break these in one hit from the charge attack. Sadly, I'm getting scrap iron. More scrap. Alright. Let's see. We have two sapphires. I was really hoping we'd be getting more iron right here, but it doesn't look like it wants to drop any. Okay, this little mage is, I believe, actually called a little mage. I'm not 100% positive because this game has some weird names for them. But I know in, little, in later games it has some kind of title similar to that. We only have three, so we need two more before we can actually start upgrading our axe. One more. Um, this room's a really dangerous room. Yeah, that's why. Ow. 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 Um, this is extremely dangerous and stupid. I'm going to go back real quick and actually heal. That was dumb of me to even try this with, you know, paralysis, but... Uh, we did it. We did what we did. Ow. Okay. We're fine. We're good. Walk our way all the way over to Edward's clinic. Edward! Seriously, I'm hurting. Please help me. Hello. Yeah, um... I don't feel so well. Cost co uh, checkups cost 200. All right, that should do the trick. Please take care. There, he removes it for charge of 200. He can do that with any status ailment. Or he might not be able to do that with sick. Sick and fatigue, he might not be able to do that with. But any normal status ailment. We need one more iron. All right, let's get going. Now that we're actually starting to get gemstones, it means that I'm going to be making good progress towards getting that medication real soon. Which means I can heal myself. Okay. There's the iron I needed. Sorry you have to listen to this beeping noise, but... It's a requirement if we want to keep mining here. Can you forge a tool for me? What do you want to forge? If you're holding that, blah blah blah. Okay, my axe. You want me to forge a cheap axe? It'll take five pieces of iron, 400g in two days. Just okay? Got to tell do that. So since we're doing it on Friday, he's not open uh, holidays, which is, you know, fine because apparently he still works. It's two days no matter what, which I guess he can do it in five minutes, but he refuses to do it in any less than two days from then. Yeah, I don't know. May I speak with you? I've been forging swords and hoes in this town for 50 years, but I still have one thing I have to do, I... Interesting. Maybe we might find out more about that later. Okay, so we can't do anything with that anymore. But for now, we can break these. And that just means we're gonna get more room on our farm, which is nice. 
and a bit more experience, of course. Let's head into the part shop. Come on in. Thanks for coming, as always. And let's go into the fall seed section. Taurus Cave is actually a fall dungeon. So, let's start selling everything we don't need. So, before you buy anything for this dungeon, I have to recommend you keep at least 1,000 for tomorrow. We're gonna hit up the hot spring here, and we're back in Tauros Cave. So, uh, just to be clear with everyone, I've actually taken a bit of a break. It's been over 24 hours since, uh, you know, 30 seconds ago in the video for you. But, uh, my battery was low. That's the honest thing. Eh, whatever. I kind of left my charger at the place I was house-sitting at and then came home to do this recording and then forgot it and I just cut that down. I meant to pick that up. Oh well. It's fine. I'm, this isn't a train wreck. You're a train wreck. I just did the editing on the previous episode and the episode that we're doing right now and just need some more footage, so here I am. I Once again, I'm meaning to pick certain things up, but I'm just not doing it. I guess it's just not necessary, right? Let's get a bit of mining done while we can. A little bit of iron, which is always nice. Bronze, which, once again, is nice. It's not quite what I'm looking for, though. I'm looking for gemstones, because if I get a little bit more money before tomorrow, it'd be great. And a gemstone. Just to be sure it is a level one. Yes, it is. I might as well just take care of everything in here, plant all my crops and all that. Skill up. Looks like these are all the ones we're going to be able to plant for now, but, you know, later on. I have 33 HP left. Let's see how much this takes. This cost me 8. Alright. I can do this three more times. I can do it once more. Oh god, that's horrifying! Ow, that's actually painful. I'm gonna turn that down for you guys, but that's actually hurting my ears. Oof. That just, that really hurt my ears. Alright, let's head to bed. The end of the sixth. <sighs> oh, it's raining and it's holiday, which is the perfect day for rain, I think. Uh, certain stores will not be open during rain, and, uh, you do not have to water your crops that are out in your field on rainy days. I believe all my crops are fully grown, so it doesn't really affect me, but I could plant more crops should I still want to. You know, it's just... cool. It's good. It's all good. Alright, for now, I think we'll head in here and take care of the watering here. Let's be smart with our time start by killing this thing. Let's try to break this one as well. There we go. I'm just strong enough to do that. Oh, 
skill up. And we're done with all of our watering. Before we head out, actually, I was about to just leave, but it'd be better if I were to do this first. To mine a little bit. Getting plenty of iron. And silver. No gemstones yet, sadly. And there we go. I'm watering my crops. If you hadn't noticed, I'm kind of a farming addict. I farm monsters, farm crops, farm money, farm experience. Alright. And with this, we're done watering for the day. Um, get some experience. And I'm assuming I'm not missing 25. And uh, two points won't matter. Okay. Before noon rolls around... Actually, I should have enough money. Yeah, I have enough money to take care of what I want to. So... Uh, let's mine first. Just so I can see if I can pick up a few extra items today. If I got a drop there, that would have been worth almost 3,000. So, you know, I'd be able to get some good stuff. I'm not sure if there are any rocks over here, but let's check it out. I know there's a spawner. And this is where you get your woolies. Woolies are the sheep of the game. I've mentioned them previously, but just, you know, I believe this is the first opportunity you have at getting them. And I'm actually getting some pretty nice stuff from this room. as well as a skill up, which is always nice. And some broken audio to go with it, of course. Now, if we head into the bar... We can sell stuff here on a holiday. Alright. 2800, which is always nice. Okay, we can get over 6,000. Let's see. Um, just considering selling some more items for a little bit more, but I'll keep what I have. Now, if we head up here, Ivan is once again waiting for us on a holiday. Hey, Raguna. I recommend this today. We can get the makers today. Mayonnaise, cheese, yogurt, seed, and wool ball. Um, to start, we're going to get a seed maker. And just for early next season, I want to get a wool ball maker. The rest of it we're going to pass on because, you know, we don't have cows anyway, so yeah. it doesn't matter. We're going to keep the rest of our money and just keep everything safe. Alright. Grab a bunch of RP. Alright, let's cave dive once more. This time we're actually going to be focusing more on killing enemies. As we make our way through this dungeon, I'm actually going to be covering the monsters here. Damon, HP 70, attack 42, defense 6. He can perform criticals, his attacks are wind-based, and he can paralyze. He can drop a devil horn and a spear. If you tame him, he'll act as a combatant for you. Oh, nice. 
I didn't realize we were that close to a level up. Womp. Little Mage, HP 63, Attack 37, Defense 4. His physical attack is fire-based, and he can cast a fireball. Drops magic powder and knowledge supplements. If you tame him, he'll water your crops for you. The Little Wizard... This is either a Little Mage or a Little Wizard. I don't, I don't know which one it is, but it's one of the two. Skill up. Water Elemental right over here. Shindra, also known as the Tundra. HP 62, attack 40, defense 3. He can use a water laser, a water-based basic attack, and can cure himself. He drops water crystals, agua elements, and agua swords. Should you tame him, he'll water your crops for you. Who can cast heal on himself, and if he does, then he pretty much heals back any damage you've done. I think he heals back 250 each time, so it's a full heal. Another little... I'm gonna call them little mages. I think little wizard is the strength inversion. I'm not sure, though. Alright. There's a reaper here. I don't actually know their official name. Ghosts. HP 63, attack 46, defense 3. Their attacks are water-based. They can seal you, absorb your HP, and critically hit you. They can drop skulls and poison rings. Should you tame one, they'll act as a combatant for you. So, future Gabe can queue in here should he feel like it. It's not necessary because we're not taking on the dungeon today, but, you know. Womp. Just more of the spear wielders. No drops yet. Another mage. Okay. So I'm gonna run past this one for now, because I want to show this off. This door is locked too. I wonder if it's because of those devices. And before you ask, no, this is not the boss door. You have to beat every single one of these spawners on the first floor before you can go down to the second. Reno, also known as Pom Pom. HP 40, attack 38, defense 5. They have a power attack and an attack that will topple you. They drop apples. Should you tame one, they'll produce apples daily. I do not remember these things for the life of me. They're like Peru Peru or something. I don't I don't really remember the name of them to be honest. Uh, they drop apples sometimes, so keep that in mind. Another Reaper. Remember, don't fear the Reaper. Oh, we forgot the... Okay, I know what we did. We have to go all the way to the beginning because I passed up a room completely forgetting about it. Like I said, we're not taking on the boss today or anything, but I want to get as much experience as I can running through this place once. Considering we've already leveled up twice, I think it's quite clear how you know much these guys are worth. here. I'm second guessing myself constantly on where everything is. Alright. Now, just to be sure, just to be absolutely positive, we go up here and there's another spawn right here, of course there is. Yep. Slime. HP 65, attack 45, defense 5. Their attacks are water-based, they can poison you, paralyze you, and they have a power attack. They drop water crystals, little crystals, and clay. Should you tame them, they'll be a combatant. This, These little slime enemies are awful. They poison you and are just a little bit tanky. If I didn't already have an upgraded sword and be over leveled and just wander in this area first, I'd be like, oh, well, this guy's a little slam and I'm poisoned and in a lot of pain. It would be awful. OK, 
Okay, I don't know... I did not take care of the woolly one either. So I'll take care of that now, I guess. Grab these as I'm running by. That way other things can spawn there later. Wooly, HP 64, attack 42, defense 4. He has normal basic attacks and can critically hit you. He drops wooly fur balls when killed, and should you tame one, they act as livestock that produce wool. Alright, we're done here. Let's head down to the next floor, see what we can find down there. And while I'm thinking about it, we're only halfway up to the next level. It's a bit of a long trek throughout this dungeon, so just don't forget those first few spawners, or else you're kind of boned. Alright. Next dungeon. Or next floor of the dungeon. I Touch the staircase, right? Okay, so if you're taking on the dungeon, head up here first, and be sure to take down the guy up here. I believe it's just a mage. I'll let him spawn. Yep. Because the boss actually... The boss door is right over there. So you don't want to get in that kind of situation. There's a lot of wood down here that I really wish I could deal with, but our axe is kind of, you know indisposed right now. Okay. Skill up, apparently. Very nice. Silver Wolves. HP 66. Attack 47. Defense 5. They have a normal basic attack and can critically hit you. They drop wolf fangs when killed. Should you tame one, they'll help you in battle, as well as letting you ride on their back. Silver wolves, I believe these are called? There we go. How much are those guys worth? A really good chunk, actually. More of you... So whenever we get our axe back, we're going to be spending a huge amount of RP chopping all these down. But we're also going to get quite a bit of wood. If we check our log right now, how many logs do we have? We only have 48. We need 2,000. Which means we need to break 200 of these stumps. Yep. Well, not quite 200. I guess it would be 195. So, the boss door is open. Now, something to note about the boss door. The boss door is now permanently open. Should at any point I want to take on the boss, I can. I do not have to beat and break old spawners again, or at least that's what I'm reading online. I was looking up something about the first boss for that last video, and it just says that, and I'm like, oh, that's just something you can do? I didn't even know that. Well, don't I look like a complete fool? How many times I've barely won a boss battle because I went in with almost no health and was constantly using all my healing items. It was awful. Now, I gotta teleport out of here, because if I want to make it back there before 9 and jump in the bath, then, you know, we're kind of running out of time. Hey, Melody! I need a bath! Now, I have a bunch of RP to burn now. I'm essentially dealing with around 400 RP per day, I think, maybe 500, something like that. So, because of that, I'm doing pretty well for myself. Let's go in and burn off a bunch of RP. This is how you start making money. You get your mining skill up and upgrade your hammer. You start getting up to, like, level 20 items, and, you know, let's just do a bit of math in here. A sapphire, level 1. Imagine a level 10 sapphire worth 7,000. 
We need 200,000 by midsummer if I want to be able to afford the upgrade to the house. This is going to be... That's the easy part, actually. The money is the easy part. The wood, on the other hand, is the difficult part. You have to be able to go in there and get enough wood, which is based on a spawn rate. It's not based on, oh, hey, yeah, I just got a bunch of items and sold them, and I can't buy wood anywhere. Who would ever want to sell logs? I mean, you know, it's it's not like all of our buildings are made out of wood or anything. Why would anyone try to make money off that? We are getting so much silver now, which I believe is worth 800 per paw, which means I'm getting a lot of money. Huh, <laughs> get stuck. So I have over 6,000, probably over 7,000 now, worth of stuff in my inventory. So, let's say you want to become a mage, right? Kill mages to become mages. They can drop an item that increases your intelligence stat permanently. So, if you want to, you know, become a mage, start using these spells, kill them and steal all their magic. I'm actually running low on time here. So, let's try to fight this guy. And we're out of here. We're close enough to being empty on HP. Trying to be as efficient as possible, but you know, sometimes you just gotta go, is it worth dying over? Probably not. Alright guys, that's enough for this episode. Next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. We'll be picking up our axe, chopping down a bunch of logs and stumps and everything. We'll be growing those crops and hopefully getting a rune factory going in there and probably taking on the boss within the next two days is my best guess. I'm not going to guarantee that, but that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably just buy a couple potions and then just take them out. Alright guys, I'll see you all next time. Bye.